chewable lamotrigine 25 milligram. Since there are a lot of medications out there, um, there are a lot of medications that look similar, and in the process of, of pulling meds off the shelf, a lot of the, um, uh, actually all of what you do is actually use your vision. It's a visual thing. You're reading a label, you're reading a fill list, and you're going to a bin, uh, reading the label on a, on a bin, and then reading the label, okay? But it's all visual. And what we want to do to help decrease medication errors is put another sense in there. So instead of vision, we added hearing. So we developed a product which uh, is a re recordable device that actually prompts the user when going into the bin uh, about various things, what medication it is, what type of uh, drug form it is, uh, or restocking issues. And it ended up working well. Anything we can do to prevent errors from happening is, is you know, are steps that we can take. And we can do this very inexpensively, um, and it really doesn't slow our process down. So um, when our staff actually goes to pull medications, it's not, it doesn't inhibit them, it doesn't slow their workflow down, and yet adds another benefit um, to, their, to their safety initiative. Now, I, we recognize that this type of technology exists in greeting cards. Um, you can open up a Hallmark card and re, uh, record a message um, to a family member. And so if that type of device exists, can it be used to prompt us to do other things? Um, and in this case, improve patient safety. There's nothing like this that we know uh, that exists. Um, we did a patent search and, and did not find anything that, that was similar. Um, and so we, and we were surprised by that, but we find that the, the concept unique and we, we feel that it has been effective here um, and we want to eventually share the, uh, share the idea with others who could potentially use it to improve their patient safety initiatives. Well, first we found uh, uh, a custom recordable greeting card circuit online for a very inexpensive price of five dollars and uh, Jeff ordered a, a, about three or four of them. So we got a, a band-aid box at the dollar store and put the circuit parts inside the box with some tape uh, and then to improve the battery life uh, you know got a battery holder from Radio Shack and kind of soldered some parts together uh, to make this which then we tape to the inside of the box and to trigger it, uh, this little tab is attached to the lid, and that goes, when that uh, pulls out of the box, it makes the speaker play the sound. Acetidote must keep at least eight vials on hand at all times. Right now we're working with the University of Pittsburgh School of Engineering um, in the Swanson Institute to actually make this uh, box better. We're trying to um, improve the not only the technology but the battery life and its ability to, ability to be reproduced. And so hopefully by the end of the summer we can come up with a, a better mousetrap that we can potentially uh, manufacture in, 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 in larger quantities and not only use here at Children's but throughout the UPMC system as well as throughout the country. The spin we use to differentiate uh, the 80 milligrams per 2 ml genomycin and the pediatric dose uh, or the pediatric concentration of 20 milligrams per 2 ml. So certainly the vial size. Only. Genomycin, 20 milligrams per 2 ml. The vials actually can look very similar. So in order to prevent this picking error, uh, we realize this is a, a, a high risk and have used the talking inventory prompter to prevent the potential error. Example. Um, it's a smaller bin. Um, it's a medication that looks actually very similar to the medications that are left and right of it. And so to prevent errors, we use the, the inventory prompter. And so the message fires when the lid's lifted. Talk 500 milligrams. Please read the label to avoid picking errors. Yeah.